Iron Man from the word go was probably it is is probably the most powerful song we've written. I think sometime in 2010 or 2011 um during a jam um we were talking about um, stories and story writing and uh, Venki and I were throwing ideas and he uh, um he suddenly suggested he said hey how about someone who collects bones uh and the the purpose of collecting the bones and um a story that revolves around that bone collection and that's the uh, that's actually the origin of the uh, i am man story i am man was one of the first songs maybe the second song that we had written for the album aditya brought in this song called dhoti lota chapati uh, in in the studio and uh, that that song literally set the tempo or set the mood for what the album was going to sound like one of the few things i remember about writing that song was that at that point i was really big into uh riffs being used in more than one place and i am man was ended up being a good e- example of that uh, there were always certain sections that we paid attention to and aditya would always have a clear idea when he writes a song of what kind of part he has in mind it would be a reference or it would be i want you know this part should sound bigger or or groovy uh, there was always a, a word that he would throw in But more often than not there's also a reference and a style and i associated a lot of what my part would be like or what the drums would become like after those conversations with him it had a <laughs> uh vami bar very slayer esque carry king solo uh, on the demo but i don't think that ever made it to the final mix although we never did want it to but i don't think i could ever replicate that a couple of weeks after um, um i heard um, the first riffs of uh, of i am and i told sanit that hey man this i want to i want to use that story of um, i want to use the story of the the guy who collects the tail bones for this song and uh, would he be okay with that um i think i saw the story play itself out um while uh, i heard the song and it just fit in beautifully um and um i think the, the vibe of the song the tone the the voices that came uh in my head were just perfect and uh, it's one of the best i i think it's one of the best openers that we've ever had for an album it fits in beautifully i am man is one of the songs in my opinion which really represents the story really well i don't know what came first the story or the song but i i feel those two really go hand in hand and it's built up in the album so you really hear the crazy chants before the song begins uh sort of this tribal vibe that it, it, the vibe that we get into before the song kicks in it was actually uh vinay's idea to say that uh, what if we put the listener in that zone and uh, which is why we had this idea of using buddhist monks uh, or monks chanting not even buddhist monks just monks chanting as as the base of base of it all but we tried a couple of renditions of the intro and uh, it was all becoming very labored uh and i think at that point it was when vinay discovered this uh the sound clip of arabic uh bedouins chanting in a group and what was characteristic about that chant was that the scream sounded like goats bleating so when you when you took that out of there and you created this uh, oral landscape uh, it just fit perfectly so it was layered with like a synth synth bass which is just a, a, a kind of drony uh, pulsy uh, synth bass and the monk chant sat on top of that and over that came the uh, arabic bedouins and it kind of seamlessly went into the goats bleating so these guys screaming uh became the goat's voice so to say and when you listen to the to the intro you will realize that you are at that field where there is this ritual is going on the intro of the song it's it's just like a fuck you like we're here was one part like that where it's really intense up until a point and it's just getting the the the, the intensity levels of the song keep rising and then there's this long break and it's one big open chord that just rings out and we've never really done that in bhayanak mall before i remember playing the first half having the first half of the song and coming to the jam and not really having a second half and just going into an open chord 
while Rahul continued playing something and we added to that and kind of came up with a groove over which I play certain chord changes and Baba uh, had this part that kind of he was playing for uh, some time before but somehow seemed to fit in over there and I think Swapnil helped him a bit with those chord changes and it has become what you can hear it now. So when I when I heard this song for the first time and when I was playing the song uh, in, the, in the initial stages, there's one riff that uh, has has uh, stuck with me. This is the third riff, uh, which almost sounds like the soundtrack to a funeral. In 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 my head, it's almost like a funeral procession. Uh, when I had a really uh, in, big impact on this song because uh, I was just mirroring the entire song riff riff to riff, and he was like, um, "Do something else." There was a couple of sections where he was like, uh, "What you're doing is great, but I think we should add." another layer on top. So I think uh, there's one section in the middle which comes where I've done like a drone, a bass bomb as Amitya put it. Broadly the influences for this album were a bunch of drummers and music I was listening to. Uh, certain iconic moments that I had where I got to meet people like Gene Hoagland and having been a fan of his drumming for the longest time. I'd like to believe I wanted to bring a lot of that that intensity into this album and into the sound of the band like and it was gradually happening. I think all of us as musicians also have grown and over 10 years were much better at our craft. So translating an idea that I had in my head to record was a lot easier on this album than it was on the 2009 album. But having said that, the parts got a lot harder. I thought it was okay, you know, Iron Man is always that song that um, you underestimate, you, you, know, you start off thinking, okay, this is one of the relaxed songs and then that second riff begins and entire arm starts aching. Uh, I think always uh, when a song like I Am Man comes along or when I'm in that zone, Rahul usual complain is, oof, that's too fast, oof. Otherwise, it was a pretty smooth song, went down easy with the band and in fact, uh, we even got a chance to play it live for three years now. Uh, so, we've had three basses who actually played that song. So, that's a, so we're going to talk in bass guitarist years. Uh, it has a really killer outro. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize this at the time, but both the gigs I've played with these guys, the outro had an epic response. Like It's got a... It's a throwdown section. For I Am Man, we've been getting these flow toms on stage and uh, when and I belt those flow toms towards the end of the song, the final breakdown comes in. I think I love that the most playing live with uh, with Sanit because um, um, it, it, the, the, I think that's the most energy that I get in that song towards the end and really, really packs a punch. I Am Man was, <laughs> was called Dhoti Lota Chapati. Um, so, uh, Aditya walks in the jam room once and he says, uh, Hey man, there's, a, there's an idea for a, for a killer story and uh, so there's this dude who um, spends time um, stalking people at Chopati Beach when they go there for a dump. And uh, uh, he, w while they're taking a dump, he's, he kills them and uh, he said the story should be called Dhoti, Lota, Chopati. At that point, it just cracked us up and just the, the name was, I mean, none of us expected Dhoti Lauta Chaupati and it's based on one of those really old movies which I happened to stumble upon when Z Films or Z Cinema or some shit used to play all these cult movies and it starred the rape king of India with the most number of online screen rapes, Joginder Singh as the main lead, so you can imagine. It's stuck, it's stuck for a, for a long time. Dhoti Lota Chapati. Maybe it would have been better than I Am Man as the first song name on the album. <laughs>